What's up guys? Coming at you here with another video review. It's been a little bit of a, a little bit of while since I uh since I recorded. I've been posting videos that I recorded a while ago over the summer. But I'm back. Uh I got a new area for recording, so hopefully these should be coming faster and more faster, furious, whatever crap you wanna whatever. Anyway, so these guys I reviewed most recently that you guys have seen. And since then I've jazzed them up a little bit. No pun intended. Jazz, get it? Yeah, bad. Never mind. Anyway, um, as you can see, I got the repro labels for them, and it makes them a billion times better. But we're going to take a look at these guys uh, Fall of Cybertron, Jazz, and Optimus Prime. Let's look at Jazz first, because I think he's. I think uh, Optimus Prime came out a little bit better because it's a little bit more subtle. But let's take a look at him. And I left it on automatic. Zoom, or focus, let's take that off so I can actually focus. Okay. So here we have Jazz. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is the wheels. These are full stickers on the wheels. They're not like highlights. They're just full, complete, round stickers that go over the wheels. Um, that's the first thing I put on. I'm really not crazy about that aspect. I wish it was just... Um, I wish these parts were cut out. You can't really see, but this there's like a hollow part over here, and there's a bar in the middle. I really wish this would cut out, and you can just slide it over it. I guess it would have, I don't know, maybe it would have been too hard to get it on there properly, but um, it does make the wheels uh, shine, you know, light up like they're supposed to. Take the gun off so I can get a better view. Um, he has his G1 stripe up the middle. Um, they give you an option to do more of a Cybertronian deal, but I like the G1-ish stripe better. Um, whatever the C is for, I'm not really sure about that, but it goes on the side. This is all a sticker. Makes it shiny. Got the C over there, both sides. Um, he has exhaust vents, so there's actually energy emanating from the exhaust pipes, which is very cool. Um, there's also a black sticker right here that extends these black sections here with these grooves. Um, the sticker also has the grooves. It's kind of hard to tell, but... This was white, and it just extended another black one out. It's also shiny. You can see it's a lot shinier than the matte painted parts um, that, of the actual plastic. But it extends that out and makes it a little cleaner. Um, as you can see, the stripe goes from the front all the way up. You know, these are all separate little stickers. Um, they give you a lot of extras, too. Like, there's an extra one of these if you lose it, and there's extra of the vents, which are a pain in the butt to get in. But let's take a look at him. I'll just... Transform him on camera real quick. La -da -da. Yeah, pull out the feet. One thing I forgot to mention when I reviewed him, his feet are actually painted. It's the only part of the figure that's painted and not molded plastic. Oh my god. Plug you in. Go in. Sorry, I'm mostly doing this off camera, but just easier to see. I hope I didn't lose any stickers. I'll take a look in a minute. Okay, there he is. Focus in a sec. So here he is in robot mode. As you can see, the same uh, decals from the front with the stripe. You can see his face, is, he actually has a new visor right there. So that's a sticker. The visor is a sticker, it makes it shinier, cooler, more jazzy. Okay. I've got to say, he also has uh, tail lights. Those are on the vehicle mode, and they come through on the robot mode. Uh, also, in robot mode, he's got these belly decals. He's also got decals for the wheels, for the wheels, because they're not really wheels, they're just molded on. Um, but you get the decals on there so it looks the same as the real the real wheels, which is a nice little touch. Um, and that's it in robot mode. Um, you can see the, the tail lights a little better in robot mode, they, you know, the more, they stand out more. Which is very cool that he actually has finally has tail lights. Gun in his hand. So yeah, 
thinks he looks. I think he looks a lot cooler. Like I said in my video, my first, my regular video review of him, um, I think he really does look better in vehicle mode. So I'm probably gonna keep him in vehicle mode, and these stickers make him shine a lot better in vehicle mode. We'll put him off to the side. Take a look at Prime. I'm just gonna move my camera. I got a new video space, like I said, so I'm just kind of getting used to it. So here's Prime. Again, let's get rid of the gun for now. So you take a look at the front. He's got headlights, uh, fog lights, little fog lights. The cockpit area is stickers now, and it has the pink Energon on there. Uh, new Autobot logos that are shinier that cover up the old ones. On the back, he's got uh, you know exhaust vents, just like Jazz. He's got lights on the back part. He's got nice tail lights. And the coolest part, well, he's got the side parts, we'll show that a little bit more in robot mode. But the wheels on this guy are 100% cooler, I think, than Jazz's because these little cutoffs, these little pie shapes, triangle shapes, um, were just black. It was just part of the wheel. And these just these little touches of pink energon poking through make this guy a hundred times cooler. It makes him look a hundred times better. Even just this alone makes him look better. But all these little touches of pink that make it pop with energon, awesome. Much better. Much, much better. We should have got this stuff painted by Hasbro, but we didn't. So let's... Uh, let's phone him real quick. Legs. Some of these head, these tiny headlight stickers have a tendency to pop off, so that's why I'm trying to focus on doing it off camera. So I can actually see what I'm doing. He's got um, really uh, tiny little hints of accent right there. More energon. Very cool. Let's get this transformed real quick. Trying to be careful of these stickers, I don't want to pop them off. It's a pain in the butt to replace them. Okay, so here we have Optimus back in robot mode. Stand for me. He's very spindly, it's hard to get him to do what I want. So, as you can see in robot mode, he doesn't, again, he doesn't shine quite as much with the new stickers, but he's got these little tiny dots, they're really tiny, hard to see, but there's one there, and there's a bar over there, and there's, on the other side, the same thing. You can see, this is all a sticker now. This was just plain black, but now you've got the pink stripe accent. Cause there's no way you wouldn't be able to put that stripe on there perfectly like that without the whole thing being a sticker. He's got... I don't know, let me keep it zoomed in here. He's got crotch and belly accents. Crotch, he's got his six pack of Energon up there. He's got accents on the side, on the inner leg and on the outer leg. Just little tiny bits of Energon poking around. Make sure I didn't lose any stickers? No, good. Scared myself for a second. That oh, one was missing. Um, the one thing I wasn't crazy about at first was the Autobot symbols, but I think once they were on, they actually look very cool. You can see they're shiny. Instead of there was plain white ones underneath here before, now they're pink and shiny. Um, but other than, like, those are really the main ones in robot mode, and there's a couple of those tiny little accent ones, and these stand out a little bit more in, in robot mode. Okay. But, I mean, the... I really dig the back ones. I think they really look cool, because they just added this, that, these little tiny bits of accent that really make this... make the this repro label set make the figure look a million times better. Just a little, like... The giant stickers, like here... But that's really, I mean, that's not even like a giant sticker because it's just showing the one line. But I mean, like this figure just has a lot of tiny accents, which I think make him look a million times better. And I think it's a lot more 
thought out and well done than some other sets. But I mean, if you own this guy, or if you own Jazz, you really owe it to yourself to get these sets. I mean, they look a million times better. This is how Hasbro should have done it to begin with. I don't know what they were doing. Ugh. Okay. But I mean, if you ask me, they look a thousand times better than they did before. So, it's going to do it for right now. Got a lot of cool stuff on the way. Uh, real quick, I got TFC Photron review coming up. I'm going to record which is their reflector. They're not reflector. The one that actually looks like a camera. I've got the Perfect Effect PE-12 Assault Force X, which is their reflector, not reflector, in the G1 toy colors. I've got um, Grind Rod coming. I got Assaulter coming. I've got a whole bunch of stuff lined up. So hopefully I'll get these going a little bit faster and uh, get this to you. So yeah. If you, you know, if you these interest you just go to repro labels pick them up make sure you buy them from repro labels not from say uh big bad toy store because they're three dollars shipped from repro labels and you get freebies from repro labels it's really silly to order from anywhere else and they jack up the price so just order direct from repro labels all right and we'll talk to you later